Ahem. All aboard. Please take your seats. Mm -hmm. The train bound for the Cookie Kingdom will be departing soon. Miss, can I take a look at your ticket? Mm-hmm. Oh, happy to have you aboard, Linzer Cookie. <laughs> Good evening. It would seem that my reputation precedes me. But of course. Your detective novels are famous worldwide. I myself have gathered the entire Miss Waffle series. <laughs> are we to expect the next book soon, dare I ask? Oh, you flatter me. Rest assured, the next book is already in the works. Your ticket is in perfect order. Mm -hmm. Happy holidays, miss. Happy holidays? Oh. Uh, you. Creme brulee cookie? Miss Linzer cookie, may I assist you? The train will be departing in a minute, so please do be seated. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing. Do excuse me. Welcome aboard, good sir. This train is bound for the Cookie Kingdom. Mm -hmm. May I see your ticket? Here. Excellent. A minute later and you would have missed your train. Mm -hmm. Please, take your seat. <clears throat> Dear passengers, the doors are closing. Our train is departing. Mm -hmm. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of the Holiday Express crew. I am your conductor, Royal Bear Jelly. Our luxurious Holiday Express travels to the Cookie Kingdom only once a year. I sincerely hope your journey aboard our train will be most pleasant and jolly. Enjoy the majestic vista of snow-covered plains and mountains, and do not miss out on our specially prepared holiday banquet. The Holiday Express crew will do everything to make your travel most memorable and delightful. Oh, I've never been on a train like this. Indeed. The entire train has been lavishly decorated for the holidays. It fills my heart with joy! Ah, there are so many wonderful holidays around the world. But to me, winter holidays are meant to be spent at one's loving home among family and friends. Allow me to introduce you to our luxurious cars and top-class amenities. This is our banquet car boasting its exquisite grand piano. Perhaps we will even get a chance to listen to the one and only Creme Brulee Cookies performance. What? A pianist cookie? Didn't know it was a thing. Please, play something for us. I will be rather busy practicing for the upcoming Grand Holiday Concert. But you may feel free to come and listen. Excellent! Next up... Allow me to welcome you to our lounge car! How do you find our holiday tree? Most lovely, don't you think? It's so tall and festive! Look! The ornaments are glimmering in the light! Make sure to be present for the tree lighting ceremony! I assure you, it will be unforgettable. <laughs> they better have some grape juice on board. Ah, yes, the dining car, where our unparalleled chef is already making preparations to indulge your sophisticated palate. <laughs> Just imagine, fine dining, with breathtaking nature as the backdrop. How romantic. And lastly, the pride of our Holiday Express. G-Lux Class Personal Suites, furnished with almost anything you can imagine, and more. Well, well. I even have a special compartment for my coat. How <laughs> oh, marvelous. 
Detective, need I remind you we're not on vacation? But I gotta admit, this train do be pretty fancy. Now where did I put my list? Ah, uh, next, I shall personally see you to your suites. Supper will be served shortly in the dining car. I'm sure you will find the menu most delectable. Linza Cookie, your seat is right this way. Will there be any additional requests? No, thank you. Am I the last one to arrive? Some passengers have no Oh, there, there they are! Mmm, this place is filled with the fine fragrance of grape juice. Ooh, now that's what I call good service. Dippity ho ho! You're so very right, my good sir. I have prepared a great selection of vintages for the Tropical Soda Island's juices. Oh yeah? Then what are we waiting for? Don't be home, my sir! But these are presents for the dear gnomes in the Cookie Kingdom! Esteemed passengers, everyone has gathered and supper will be served in a minute. In the meantime, isn't it an opportune moment to become properly acquainted? Acquainted? A brood is crumbling from hunger here! Besides, I bet every flatster around has heard about me a couple of times. He is not wrong. Schwarzwalder, is it? Now, stories of your, uh, deeds are quite famous where I come from. Then perhaps you also heard that I don't like to be called by that name! And who are you, anyway? Ah, I do have a rather packed schedule involving lengthy trips. Cheddar cheese cookie. And this is my rather troublesome colleague, Macaroni cookie. <laughs> Nothing troublesome about me. You gotta look hard for a cookie as responsible and diligent. Are you two going to attend the famous holiday festival? The year's end festivities in our kingdom are very fun. Alas, the most fun thing that awaits us there is our layover. And then another train. Let us not get into, uh, further detail, macaroni cooking. <gasps> Such secrecy! I, for one, am looking forward to spending the tree lighting ceremony with Angel Cookie tonight. How I wish I could fly all the way to the top of the tree and touch the pretty star. Deputy ho ho ho! I see the holiday spirit has already begun to spread. I have prepared wonderful gifts for all cookies, sugar gnomes, and cake hounds. It is a shame you must work during the holidays, too. But it is you who makes this time of year all the merrier. I swear by my sugar beard, I won't stop until my candy cane cracks. doopty ba -do! Now that you mention it, your candy cane does look a bit worn. It's true. I have used this very same cane since the day I started working as a sugar gnome. And with me through thick and thin. You sugar gnomes always work so tirelessly. I admire you. <laughs> oh, but I'm not alone this time around. This chum here has a concert to prepare for. I, creme brulee cookie. Yes, the grand holiday concert in the Cookie Kingdom. I bet the entire kingdom will gather to see you perform. Uh, say, how do you keep your composure on stage? Tension helps with focus. Last thing I want the audience to see is me being relaxed. A cup of tea, please. Nice and hot. Right away, Miss Linzer Cookie. If I may, are you visiting the Cookie Kingdom for the holiday festivities? Or perhaps to work on your next book? <laughs> I would neither confirm nor deny it. The mystery above the waves was fun! 
fantastic, simply fantastic. I wonder what thrilling story you are preparing this time. <laughs> you will find out soon enough. Seems like Conductor Royal Bear Jelly is a huge fan of Linzer Cookie's work. Why, I myself am an enjoyer of her Miss Waffle series. <clears throat> Those novels are nothing like the cases we crack. Creme brulee, Cookie, where are you going? Supper is about to be served. All this talk about my concert only reminded me that I must practice more. I will grab a bite later. Delicious! Indeed. I haven't had a finer meal in a while. My compliments to the chef. Don't forget to try our ice cream cake dessert. Fancy a glass of sparkling juice to commemorate the evening? Ooh, I would like one, please. Sparkling cookies delightful concoctions never fail to amaze me. No, no, no! Not for me, my good lad. Pack me a piece of the cake. I'll eat it before the light's out. Oh, uh, very well. And I'd just love to stay longer, but alas, all this jolly mood in the air doesn't allow for speedy writing. My publisher loved the manuscript, but it lacks that special something. I want to write something fresh, something electrifying. Hmm, how uncanny. This setting is quite similar to my novel in the making. The train, the holidays. Yes? It's me. Me who? Creme brulee cookie, who else? What a surprise. It's been so long. I almost forgot what your voice sounds like. Forgot? You? Of all cookies. How is that surprising? Anyway, what's the matter? I... Could you swap rooms with me? No, never mind. Is it because of Schwarzwalder? Is he being too loud? Yes. I don't know what he's doing, but all I can hear is the loud thudding and thumping. You could have asked the conductor. I... I didn't want to come across as... Mm, difficult. Not before the grand concert. I see. Well then, I shall grant your wish. I haven't unpacked yet, so it won't take long. Thank you, Linzer Cookie. What do you know? All these sweets look exactly the same. Thanks again. Good night. So, this is my new room, hmm?
All this room swapping business made me thirsty. I suppose it's time for some refreshments. Care to join us for a game of cards? Now, I do have a manuscript to finish, but surely I can afford to play one game. Uh, Miss Linzer Cookie, would you be so kind and not use your detective novelist skills to read our faces right away? Hmm? <laughs> I may or may not spare you this once. Schwartzwalder, can we interest you in a game of cards? Come join us! Can't you see I'm busy? Pretend I'm not here and play already! I wonder what he's so preoccupied with. Slouched over there, writing... Wait, 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 wait! Let's all have a glass of juice before we start a new gang! Why not me? Huh? Uh, what was that? What happened? It's Creme Brulee Cookie and Old Jolly! What happened? My... my sheet music for the concert is gone. Disappeared from your suite? Correct. While I was in the banquet car. And then I saw old Jolly snooping around my suite. I'm telling you, chum. I did it. Don't they know it? Why would an old sugar don't steal from me? Then why did you go near my suite? Lost! In a hallway straight and narrow as this, I find that very hard to believe. Before this argument becomes too heated, I must point out that Old Jolly doesn't have your sheet music on them. It's rather unlikely they're the culprit. Creme Brulee Cookie, could it be that you misplaced your sheet music? I positively couldn't have. But very well. I'll look again. Sorry for the fuss. Cranberry Cookie looks so upset. Perhaps we should let Royal Bear Jelly know, in case the sheet music won't reappear. <laughs> Pardon the intrusion. <sighs> Does anyone require my assistance? Is there a problem of some sort? <laughs> ah, Mr. Royal Bear Jelly, you arrived and not a moment too soon. Did you run here? You're out of breath. I must have uh, overexerted myself, uh, preparing for the tree lighting ceremony. <laughs> Please come join us at midnight. The ceremony will last for a whole hour. I shall wait in the dining car with Angel Cookie. We can play games until midnight. If you'll excuse me, I must get back to my manuscript. Enjoy the ceremony. The Night Express was speeding into the wintry dark, as if hoping for the dark to conceal the sinister secrets it carried aboard. Many years have passed since that fateful night, and yet... Miss Waffle couldn't forget that foul smell of depravity hanging in the gloomy twilight air. Somewhere in the same train, a shadowy figure rose in the doorway. Something terrible was bound to happen. No, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh. It was only a dream. There has been nothing but the manuscript on my mind lately. Now it even comes to me in my dreams. But I must admit, what an intriguing hook. I especially liked how different scenes were punctuated by those spine-chilling sound effects. 
Or is it because the premise is so similar? Am I mixing up my book and reality? Hmm... The same train rushing towards the holidays. An endearing ingenue. A serene poet. A bartender. A carefree drone. A brawny, ill-tempered bully. A hapless holiday messenger. A pianist. Two suspicious figures veiled in secrecy. And the protagonist detective. Come to think of it, the resemblance is uncanny. Then the next thing that will happen is... <laughs> Don't be absurd, Linzer Cookie. Seems like the manuscript is beginning to toy with my common sense. At this rate, I'm not surprised. Let's go back to sleep. Good morning, dear passengers. Our famous hearty breakfast will be served shortly. Royal Bear Jelly, you look... different. Ah, I am surprised you noticed. <laughs> Indeed, I thought it was unbecoming of me to celebrate the holidays with my moustache untrimmed. This new style suits you very well. Ah, you flatter me, please. Now, time for the welcome beverage to make your morning especially bright and... Fragrant! <laughs> this... This... This is... Tea? <laughs> Not bad. But it's too sweet for my taste. I'll still have it, though. Oof. My eyes are weary from reading the documents all night long. A cup for me, please. I hear what? Detective, all you did was listen to me with your eyes closed. But I do not see creme brulee cookie and old jolly. Those two sleepyheads? We should start without them. But it's always merrier together. I will go wake them up. Creme brulee cookie's room should be right here. Mr. Creme Brulee Cookie, breakfast! I'm here. I see you've already woken up. <laughs> Creme Brulee Cookie, you look so pale. Did you not sleep well? Not really. But don't worry about me. Excellent! Next, old Jolly. A knock on the door. Oh, Jolly! It's breakfast time! Hello, old John. Huh? Oh, I wish I could sleep that soundly. Old Jolly, I'm coming in. <laughs> Leave it to me. I can wake up anyone. They will think twice about going to bed next time. Hey, you lazy sugar no! <laughs> what on earth, Brad? Oh, Jolly! Oh, Jolly! The morning promised to be brisk, yet otherwise uneventful. Alas, evil had other plans. Nobody, Nobody move! move.
jelly of mine. There's jam everywhere. It's a crime scene. Until we arrive at the closest station and a proper investigation has been concluded, we are obligated by law to preserve its integrity. Huh? Who are you two? Whew. We hoped it wouldn't come to this, but we are... Detectives. How did you...? Oh, it was rather obvious. The way you were so secretive about your occupation and destination. The documents. The hushed whispering. At first, I didn't know what to make of your intentions. But soon, the facts added up, and it became clear who you are. Detectives on a mission! And detectives always come in pairs. Even the sight of old Jolly's body didn't startle you. And at that very moment, my theory was confirmed. Remarkable. I would expect no less from a writer of such great renown. Yes, Linza Cookie. Your theory was indeed correct. Now, I would be lying if I said I expected such an incident. But one thing is certain. The culprit is one of us. Naturally. After all, there is no way of escaping from a running train. But who could have... It is very likely that the culprit committed this gruesome crime in the period from midnight to 1 a.m. How do you know that? Macaroni cookie, if you will. The state of sugar granules scattered on the floor indicates that the incident happened around midnight. The dropped watch over there stopped between 12 and 1. Which means our victim here engaged in a physical confrontation with the culprit, resulting in the dropping of said watch. And the weapon? What could it be? Old Jolly's position suggests they were hit with a blunt object from behind. Something with a decent reach and hardness to ensure... Ah, of course! The candy cane, right here! <laughs> impressive. Most impressive. The villain used Old Jolly's cane? How horrible! Well, I am most certain that I know what the Sugar Gnome was doing. An untied gift sack. Gift boxes with our names scattered across the floor. And a holiday hat and beard. Judging by these items, it's clear Old Jolly was preparing gifts for us when the incident occurred. Oh my! Who could have done such a thing? That's exactly what we're going to find out. Everyone... Please move to the dining car, where we will question you. Hmm... Was a sugar gnome feeling cold? This room is intolerably hot. My cheeses will positively melt away. Hmm... Such a familiar beginning. Too familiar. Indeed, it follows my story almost to the letter. The victim and the enclosed space of the running express train. Then, according to my manuscript, the antagonist will be... Miss Linzer Cookie, please proceed to the dining car. Um, esteemed detectives, I'd like to make a proposition. 
You see, my services and expertise might be very beneficial to the investigation. Perhaps I could assist you? Pardon? With respect, Miss Linzer Cookie, a famous crime story writer you may be, but reality is far from fiction. Mm -hmm. It will be an honor to work with you. What? But Detective Cheddar... Oh, marvelous. I will do my best not to get in your way. Besides, I already spoke to all the passengers yesterday. I'm sure you will find my remarks most helpful. That is what I call an excellent point, Macaroni Cookie. Let us accept Linzer Cookie's proposition. But Linzer Cookie is a civilian. This is strictly against procedure. Procedures, procedures. We are on a running train, after all. The brass doesn't have to know. But we agree on one condition. We are in charge of the investigation. Oh, give me a break. Fine. But FYI, I won't be held responsible if anything bad happens, Detective Cheddar Cheese. Well, then it's settled. Now it's about time to start detecting. don't have a suspect at the moment, but keep in mind that one of us here is the culprit. We will begin with checking your alibis. Uh, don't mind me. I simply volunteered to take down everyone's replies. Old Jolly Case, Record 1. Vampire Cookie brought in for questioning. <clears throat> Alibi. Was present at the tree lighting ceremony at the time of the incident. Confirmed by Angel Cookie, Carol Cookie. So, you're saying you were at the tree lighting ceremony, huh? Was I? Oh, yeah, uh, I guess I was. Uh, I, I had too much grape juice last night. Huh. Vampire Cookie, didn't you have a talk with Old Jolly about the grape juices they carried? They seemed so tempting, did they not? Well, well, well. So the poor Sugar Gnome was a mere obstacle standing between you and a sip of fancy grape juice, huh? Classic! What? What do you take me for? We... we made a deal! Old Jolly would let me have a little taste for a small donation of coins! That was it! They even made me sign a formal agreement. Uh, here! Sugar gnomes and their no-nonsense ways. Hmm. Was there anything else? Did you notice anything unusual yesterday? Well, Angel Cookie looked quite suspicious talking to old Jolly over supper last night. But I doubt it had anything to do with, yeah, you know, the, the incident on our hands. Vampire Cookie was in the lounge car drinking juice with other cookies. His alibi is pretty solid. Thanks. Next! Old Jolly Case, Record 2. Angel Cookie. 
alibi was present at the tree lighting ceremony at the time of the incident. Confirmed by Vampire Cookie, Carol Cookie. I understand you were at the tree lighting ceremony with other cookies. Is that right, Angel Cookie? Of course! I was trying very hard to fly to the top of the tree. talk about with old Jolly over supper last night? Oh, I... Mm. We talked about... Well, I asked if old Jolly could fly. It's the sleigh that allows me to fly around. Easy peasy. Ho ho. Yes, that's all. Did they now? <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> Listen, pal, you do have something shady about that squint of yours, if I'm being completely honest with you. I get that. Sometimes. What hides behind those pale blue eyes, I wonder? But Angel Cookie's alibi is solid as well. What can you tell me about Old Jolly? While everyone was waiting for the ceremony to begin, Creme Brulee Cookie and Old Jolly had an argument in the hallway. Noted. Next cookie. Old Jolly Case, Record 3. Carol Cookie. Alibi was present at the tree lighting ceremony at the time of the incident. Confirmed by Angel Cookie, Vampire Cookie. I was completely mesmerized by the twinkling ornaments. I even came up with a new poem about love and peace. Would you like me to read it? chance to talk to the sugar gnome? I sang them a song to cheer them up. After all, old Jolly had to work during the holidays. Sometimes a little song filled with warmth and joy can bring peace to the troubled soul. Yeah. In our case, eternal peace. <clears throat> Do you remember anything suspicious? Anything catch your eye last night? Let's see. Sparkling Cookie looked so sad when Old Jolly refused to drink. Why would Old Jolly refuse?
Yes. Vampire Cookie, Angel Cookie, and Carol Cookie were together, and their stories perfectly align. Next cookie, please. Old Jolly Case, record four. Creme Brulee Cookie, Alibi. Played the grand piano in the banquet car. Confirmed by, none. You're saying that no one else was there in the banquet car who could confirm your alibi? No one at all heard you play? I suppose. Everyone else was in the lounge car, enjoying the ceremony. Besides, the lounge car is far more soundproof than the rest of the train. I doubt anyone heard me. Other cookies mentioned your little argument with the victim. Can you elaborate? It, yes, I was a bit upset because of my sheet music. Hmm. No alibi? No witnesses? Besides, Creme Brulee Cookie was so openly aggressive towards Old Jolly. Next cookie? A Creme Brulee Cookie is the only one so far without an alibi. His motive may seem unclear now, but the same can be said about anyone. Alright, why don't we continue after a small break? And the show goes on. Next cookie, please. Old Jolly Case, record five. Sparkling cookie brought in for questioning. Alibi, worked at the bar of the dining car. Confirmed by Chef Cookie. At the time of the incident, you were busy making beverages for the tree lighting ceremony, correct? Yes, I was. It was getting late and the passengers seemed rather weary. Chef Cookie and I decided to provide a round of refreshments. That's true, I can attest to that. I even learned a couple of handy tricks from Sparkling Cookie last night. A witness claimed that you look saddened after Old Jolly refused to have your beverage. Why? I... well, yes, I was. But only briefly. Besides, soon, Old Jolly let me in on a secret. 
They told me they left so abruptly because they had to prepare gifts for the passengers. Sparkling Cookie knew that Old Jolly planned to visit every passenger's suite and deliver gifts. Was there anything else of note? Um... Oh, I did see Royal Bear Jelly, the conductor, pushing the room service cart to the kitchen and leaving shortly after. Do you remember the time? Was it during the tree lighting ceremony? Yes, there was a, a, a little interlude. I would say the time was half past twelve. Huh, I see. Next co- oh. Yes, yes, I'm here, but make it quick! Old Jolly Case, Record 6. Schwartz, Balder. Alibi, unknown. Confirmed by... Unknown. Go ahead! Ask! Huh, no need. We know your alibi. You were signing a card in your suite. A card for poison mushroom cookie, correct? What? How did you... Well, given your undeniably uh, noteworthy reputation, you were constantly under our scrutiny since the moment you stepped on board. It is absolutely positive you did not leave your room last night. Oh. I wonder what comes next. <laughs> I am that infamous, all right? You little detectives have done your homework! <laughs> it is our job, after all. Next! What? Is that it? Ask me something else! Validate me! Did you, by any chance, hear Royal Bear Jelly pushing the room service cart through the hallway? Huh? The cart? I guess I did. Wait, that has nothing to do with me! Speaking of, we also heard the sound. It was headed towards the dining car. Hmm. Sparkling Cookie, Schwarzwalder, and the detective stories align as well. Looks like Schwarzwalder was the last one to question. Uh, not so fast, Lenzer Cookie. It's your turn. No exceptions. You're a passenger, too. <laughs> yes, of course. Old Jolly Case, Record 7. Lenzer Cookie. Alibi was in her room. Confirmed by... None. Your story depicts one of the most elaborate mysteries. Naturally, you're under our greatest suspicion. Unless someone confirms your alibi, that is. Yes, I was in my room writing. No one saw me. And yet, my alibi can be confirmed by my pen. Your... pen? Yes, my trusty pen that happens to be a portative recorder. Quite handy when you travel around gathering material from manuscripts. Oh, but this won't do. What if you made the record in advance to throw us off track? It's a possibility. But please, do listen to the following part. It's past midnight. Everyone is at the tree lighting ceremony. Earlier today, I noticed numerous gift boxes under the tree itself. But I suspect those are mere decorations. Nah, this doesn't tell us anything. N now Hold up! That noise in the background... ...and the mumbling. Schwarzwalder! Precisely. Schwarzwalder's creative process was caught on the record. He kept tapping his feet, reading the text, and banging on the desk. 
Dear Poison Mushroom Cookie, our little mushroom, true me, even. I wish you and the spores a very toxic. Ah, crumbs! This is stupid! Hmm. Yes, I recall hearing that last night. Will this be enough to dispel your suspicions, detectives? I suppose the recording confirms your alibi. I am certain Lindsay Cookie's talents will be instrumental in our investigation, Macaroni Cookie. Does this mean you didn't suspect me, Cheddar Cheese Cookie? Oh, I have met and seen many, many cookies in my practice. Your acute intellect revealed our identities. I doubt you would have gone that far knowing there are detectives riding the very same train. Should you be the villain, you would have pretended to assist the investigation while in reality doing everything to prevent us from bringing you to justice. And I do not really see that in you. Exactly the conclusion a seasoned detective would reach. But Detective Cheddar Cheese, why didn't you say earlier? Well, this was the earliest occasion. Now that the initial questioning has concluded, who do you think is the villain? I think I do have a suspect in mind. I have my theory as well. And yet, there is but one more figure left on board. Oh, of course! None other than... How may I be of service? Ah, thank you for coming in on such short notice. Uh, everyone on this train must be interrogated. That is including the crew. Please, begin. Old Jolly Case, Record 8. Royal Bear Jelly. Alibi. Was operating the tree illumination from the electrical room. Confirmed by none. Am I correct to assume there is no other place whatsoever the light on the tree could be turned on from? Correct, detective! Were it a simple holiday tree, I would have just turned it on. But our special tree required more uh, uh, precise control. Is that so? I thought all you have to do is plug the twinkle lights in. Oh, no, no, no. No, like I said, it was not some simple light show. It was the piece de resistance of the Holiday Express. None of the cookies present at the ceremony noticed anything unusual, which means Royal Bear Jelly was working in the electrical room the entire time. And during the entr'acte, you brought the room service card to the kitchen, that right? Yes, detective. You see, I brought the cart from the kitchen to the electrical room to have a snack during the ceremony. And like you said, I used the short break to take it back. I suppose this caused the noise you heard. The entr'acte lasted for only ten minutes. Crimes are not committed in such a short time window. And, uh, if I may... Go on. Uh, I am sure it was nothing. Did you see anything unusual? If you have any further information pertinent to the investigation, by all means, let us know. I... <coughs> well, that is to say, I... I think... I saw creme brulee cookie right before the ceremony. 
walking right into old Jolly's suite. <gasps> but, you see, I, I assume the maestro went in to talk. Oh dear, I should have known. Hmm. But according to Creme Brulee Cookie, he was at the banquet car. It would seem to me that someone is in for more questions. What is it? I already told you everything. Creme Brulee Cookie, looks like you conveniently forgot to mention your midnight visit to Old Jolly's. Uh, how... D did you... So it's true. I... didn't think it was worth mentioning, and besides, Old Jolly wasn't even there. It had nothing to do with... what happened. Did you go because you kept suspecting the Sugar Gnome in stealing your sheet music? Yes, but I only wanted to ask Old Jolly one more time. And yet, I found neither the notes nor the gnome in the room. Were you looking for the notes until dawn, since you were not in your suite? Yes, but alas, I never found them. You're lying. We saw the sheet music. What? You... you... What? Where? Creme brulee cookie. The sheet music was found in your suite. In the corner. 
as though someone tried to tuck it away in a hurry. I know nothing about it. I looked everywhere. It was gone. And now it mysteriously turns up in my room. I can't trust Creme Brulee Cookie anymore. Even if what he says is true, there isn't a soul who could confirm it. Why didn't you tell the truth, Creme Brulee Cookie? Sorry to keep you waiting. Did you find the villain? Was it really one of us who hurt old Jolly? Yes. We have solid grounds to suspect. You! Creme brulee cookie! Oh. This is what happened. Yes, no one else but the Sugar Gnome could steal my sheet music. I'm sure of it. I must pay them another visit. Old Jolly! We need to talk. Old Jolly? Are you there? Ah, my sheet music! But the Sugar Gnome said... Oh, they will pay. Why is the door... Oh! What are you doing here, chum? Old Jolly, why did you steal my sheet music? Just tell me why! I... You... Don't come near! You lied to me! Wait! Listen to me, my good sir! No! No! My candy cane! Do you really presume I would do that because of some missing sheet music? The only cookie whose alibi cannot be confirmed is you, creme brulee cookie. No one saw you that night. But it wasn't me! I didn't do it! Yeah, yeah, you gotta tell us more about your midnight antics once we reach the kingdom. Meanwhile, you were remained locked in the banquet car. Linzer cookie! Uh, Linzer cookie! I... I'm telling the truth! <laughs> Very well. Now I would like to ask everyone to remain in your suites until the end of our journey. Needless to remind that old Jolly's room is off limits, for it must remain preserved for the forensics team. The dining car will be requisitioned as the provisional investigation headquarters and will remain off limits as well. I can't believe my ears! Creme Brulee Cookie was the villain the entire time? I, he didn't look like a cookie capable of committing a gruesome crime. Oh... <sighs> oh... <laughs> look at y'all! Need a hanky? It's no big deal for us baddies! <laughs> hmm... What's wrong with y'all? I don't want to stay moping here with you, sad bunch! I'm gonna be in my room if anyone needs me. Polishing my hammer and reliving my glorious battles. Ah, the screams, the clanging of blades, the smell of my own cherry jam. <laughs> cherry jam? You mean strawberry jam? Ah, of course it's cherry jam. I'm no cookie, and I have cherry jam flowing inside. Ah, what do you know about jam, puny cookie? Only ruthless warriors like myself can... Hey, stop! Where y'all going? Crumbs. What a bunch of party poopers. Holidays like these only come once in a year. If you will excuse me. I'd like to retire to my suite.
The mystery was solved so fast. The chain of events followed my story. And creme brulee cookie. In my manuscript, the pianist was the culprit. He took his revenge on a cookie who ruined his performance, but in the end, confessed the truth. Unlike creme brulee cookie. It is true that no one can confirm creme brulee cookie's alibi. And yet, why is this sense of uncertainty gnawing at me? What am I missing? I have to go back to the beginning. After supper, creme brulee cookie and I switched rooms. Later, creme brulee cookie's sheet music disappeared. Creme brulee cookie suspected old Jolly of the theft and confronted the sugar gnome. At midnight, most cookies gathered for the tree lighting ceremony. The conductor was in the electrical room working on the illumination. At the same time, Old Jolly was preparing the gifts in the suite. That's when the gnome was confronted by Creme Brulee Cookie once more. Creme Brulee Cookie finds the sheet music in Old Jolly's suite and, in the heat of passion, hits the gnome with the candy cane. Old Jolly is out cold and Creme Brulee Cookie decides to leave the body and hide in his own room. This narrative is completely logical, in all but one thing. Why would Old Jolly steal the notes? They don't present any value whatsoever. Besides, I have no doubt that Creme Brulee Cookie can perform without the sheet music. He knows his pieces by heart. The disappearance of the notes could have come across as a nuisance, but could it really lead Creme Brulee Cookie to committing the unthinkable? Something here doesn't add up. I'm out of paper. I think I had some left right there. Oh? Isn't this Creme Brulee Cookie sheet music? Did I bring it here from his suite? No wonder. The envelope is just like the one I keep my manuscript in. I should bring it back. But look! The sheets are all shuffled up, and there are no marks of jam. Uh, Miss Linza Cookie? Ah, Royal Bear Jelly. How may I help? I'm offering hot, fragrant tea to the passengers. Would you like a cuppa? How nice of you. Thank you. Who would have known such a horrible thing could happen aboard a Holiday Express? Miss Linza Cookie, you have my thanks for helping to solve this gruesome mystery. <clears throat> Are you comfortable in your suite? Can I do anything for you, Miss Linza Cookie? This is Creme Brulee Cookie's room, after all. We could find you another one, if you would like. Huh? Oh, no need. I'd like to rest for a while, that is all. Oh, of course, of course. I, I will not bother you further. Have a good evening. I never informed the conductor about the fact we switched our suites. Moreover, when Royal Bear Jelly went to wake up Creme Brulee Cookie in the morning, he found the switched room without any trouble. Creme Brulee Cookie, are you in... What's going on? Ah, uh, Linzer Cookie. What are you trying to do? You may escape from the car, but you can't jump off a moving train. Don't look at me like that. I'm begging you. I'm not a fool. I simply was trying to reach you. Reach me? What for? I didn't do it. I had to make you trust me. The true culprit is still at large. But I'm not a detective. Besides, why would I believe your words? Of course not. But I've seen the look in your eyes back there. 
that look when you can't make sense of your story. What? My novels are impeccable, and such is my deduction. And yet, you see right through me. This is why I'm here. Here, your notes. Take a look. Who shuffled the order of my sheet music? Aside from the cover, they're in utter chaos. As suspected, it wasn't creme brulee cookie. A professional pianist would never leave their sheet music in disorder. Especially a perfectionist like creme brulee cookie. Another thing. Did you, by any chance, inform the conductor about switching our rooms? I didn't. I had no time running around chasing my notes. Also, why would I? In that case, how did Royal Bear Jelly know? Switched rooms? Shuffled notes? Linzer Cookie, did you hear what I just said? Hmm? I'm sorry? Lost in thought again, huh? I said that it's very hot in this car. Oh, indeed. I know that you prefer lower temperatures. Only cold cream can make the perfect creme brulee. Cold air makes me more focused before going on stage. I will ask Royal Bear Jelly to lower the heating. Hmm. Was a sugar gnome feeling cold? This room is intolerably hot. My cheeses will positively melt away. The room was all heated up, and much hotter than here. Too much for old Jolly wearing the hat and gloves. But why the temperature? Did something have to be melted? Linzer Cookie! Uh, do forgive me. Do you know who the culprit might be? Even if I knew, I couldn't tell. At the moment, everything points at you. But possibly not you alone. And I will discover the truth. Meanwhile, stay here and don't attempt to escape. I never tried. But fine. I will be here playing the piano. I still believe I will be able to perform at the Grand Holiday Concert. Unless you are the culprit, that is. Detective, are you sure we came to the right conclusion? Hmm, is something bothering our brilliant sleuth? I just have a hunch we're missing something, but I don't know what just yet. A hunch, huh? Spoken like a true detective. I am a true detective, but unlike you, Detective Cheddar Cheese, I'm more used to operating on facts rather than intuition. But now, my gut tells me something else is at play here. And once we've arrived at our destination, I'll turn this train upside down if that is what is needed to find the conclusive evidence. But can we request help? Uh-huh. I'm sure HQ would just love that. Two CBI detectives were not enough to crack one measly case. Yes, you're right. And we can't reveal who we work for to the civilians, especially while this case is ongoing. But I just know it! What's that? There's something under the tree between the gift boxes. Bring it here. But you're closer than... Huh? What's this? A remote control? turned on the lights on the tree! Whoa! There are so many elaborate light settings on this thing. The timing, the order, it's pretty advanced. Huh. I wouldn't expect less from a luxurious train like this. 
Now, wait a minute! With a remote like this, you don't really need to be in the electrical room. And look at the holiday tree, Macaroni Cookie. Doesn't it seem like a particular ornament is missing? Well, well, well. Miss Novelist. Looks like the clues brought us all to the conductor's quarters. Yes. Would you take a look at this? I think it's a manual for... The state-of-the-art holiday tree remote control. With a toy like this, one can set the program, press a button, and sit back watching it do its thing. And for an hour, no less. Coincidentally, the entire duration of the ceremony. Looks like our esteemed conductor's alibi just went out the train window. But why was it lying under the tree? The conductor wouldn't leave such a crucial thing lying around, unless in a great hurry. Was there anything missing from the holiday tree? Yes, it looks like an ornament was missing. Uh, do you know which one? Why do I have a feeling we will find said ornament in old Jolly's suite? Jeez, is it hot in here or what? Indeed. It's significantly hotter inside than in other parts of the train. But what for? What could be the purpose of cranking up the thermostat? 
to melt something down? <gasps> ah, of course it's cherry jam. I'm no cookie, and I have cherry jam flowing inside. Of course. Old Jolly is a sugar gnome, not a cookie. I'm sorry? What Linza Cookie is trying to say is... Detective! You can't just pick up the weapon, let alone wipe the strawberry jam off of it! Indeed. It would be most foolish of me to disturb the crime scene before the forensics. Only, it's not real strawberry jam. remember old Jolly carrying a slightly different candy cane. Of course! The missing ornament! Precisely. The culprit used fake strawberry jam to disguise the candy cane. This cane is neither as polished nor as scuffed as the real one. But why would the culprit disguise the cane? And where is the real one? I believe I have the answers to these questions, detectives. After all, I take pride in my ability to connect the dots. The fake jam and the candy cane, the missing sheet music... They all might seem random, but in fact, these are all pieces of the same puzzle. And only with all the gaps filled, these pieces form a complete picture. over. And creme brulee cookie is here too? We asked you all to come because it is time to find out who was truly behind the old Jolly incident. Creme brulee cookie wasn't the culprit? No, because it was you. Royal Bear Jelly. E is this some kind of a joke? <laughs> The Royal Bear Jelly was in the electrical room! Or so our conductor wanted you to believe. Take a look at this. This remote control allowed Royal Bear Jelly to program the illumination and leave the post. The conductor's alibi is null and void. Still, that thing alone is not proof it was Royal Bear Jelly who hurt Old Jolly, is it? I admit at first glance, the motive seems rather unclear. And that is what I assumed as well. And yet, the flame of suspicion starts with but a little spark. about the fact that creme brulee cookie and I swapped our sweets. 
because we didn't tell a soul. Nevertheless, in the morning, Royal Bear Jelly went straight to Creme Brulee Cookie's new suite, as if knowing he would be there. I thought, could it be that the conductor secretly visited our rooms while Creme Brulee Cookie and I were elsewhere? If so, why? And then I realized one thing. Script for Linzer Cookie's upcoming novel. Of course, Royal Bear Jelly mentioned being a fan. Indeed, that is the first thing that comes to mind. It was my initial guess as well. However, inside the envelope was. His sheet music! It, the envelopes looked exactly the same! Correct! Royal Bear Jelly tried to steal the manuscript, but ended up stealing the sheet music! Because our sweets had been already swapped. That is how the sheet music disappeared. That is what triggered the following chain of events. Manuscript. They must have swapped the rooms. I... I must put these back before anyone notices. I'm telling you, chum. I didn't dupe they know it. I would an old sugar note steal from you. Then why did you go near my suite? I... I... I was lost. Lost? In a hallway straight and narrow as this, I find that very hard to believe. Oh no! Creme Brulee Cookie noticed the disappearance! Now the only way to put the sheet music back is to sneak out during the ceremony! Oh, thank heavens for the remote! To my quarters! Old Jolly, are you there? I just want to check one last time. Can we talk? No reply. Wait a second. <sighs> he almost saw me. But I must get the sheet music from my quarters first. There it is. Now all that's left to do is to put it back. Doopty ho! My dearest conductor! What's that in your hand, pal? Oh, Jolly! <laughs> what are you doing here? Doopty ho! I came to deliver the gift! But those sheets! You had them all this time? Oh, what I had to endure because of them! Uh, I didn't mean to! You stole it! I only tried to put creme brulee cookies gift in his room, but became the scape gnome instead. Because of you! Tsk, tsk, tsk. I must tell creme brulee cookie the truth and clear my good name. What did your parents teach you about stealing? Unbelievable! A conductor at that! Do be do. No! Stop! No! You're not doing... Anywhere! <laughs> 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 Oh, Jolly! Oh, Jolly! Oh, the 
gnome won't wake up. What have I done? No, no, no. This won't do. No one must know. I should move the body. This is what happened. Old Jolly was inside the room service cart. Royal Bear Jelly moved the sugar gnome's body and returned to the kitchen with the empty cart. And that's when Royal Bear Jelly placed the sheet music back in my room. Yes. The conductor paid your room a visit while you were in the banquet car. And yet, Royal Bear Jelly didn't know how to read sheet music and placed it in the wrong order. The conductor left no jam marks, because the incident happened elsewhere. Lies! Lies! All lies! It's a cookie! I may be your fan, but this is, this is preposterous! It makes absolutely no sense! Yeah, but where is the proof? The proof that Royal Bear Jelly is the culprit! Excellent question. The proof is right here. Jolly's candy cane? What looks like Old Jolly's candy cane is in fact a simple ornament from the holiday tree. If you look closely, you will notice it's brand new. To hide this fact, Royal Bear Jelly increased the temperature in Old Jolly's sweet and melted the ice cream cake that was inside. The candy cane was soundly caked in the liquid. It also happened to seem as if it was Old Jolly's strawberry jam. Brilliant idea, if you think of it. Crumbs, that's right! Sugar gnomes don't jam! The conductor bamboozled us all! But why did Royal Bear Jelly swap the canes? Yeah, where is the real candy cane? That, my friend, is where things get interesting. You see, the real candy cane happened to cause some trouble. Such trouble, it was absolutely necessary to conceal it. Teapot from the morning? An enclosed space, such as our Holiday Express, poses great difficulties for the culprit. If you throw an object out the window, 
someone will notice. If you try to hide it, someone might stumble upon it. Holy macaroni! The conductor dissolved the candy cane in the tea! Precisely. Only our culprit made a critical mistake by leaving the teapot in the dining car we requisitioned earlier. It turned out the tea was insufficient to fully dissolve the fragments. But why was it necessary to dissolve the candy cane? Why did Royal Bear Jelly have to get rid of it all of a sudden? Like Detective Cheddar Cheese mentioned, this is where things get interesting. of their physical altercation with Royal Bear Jelly, Old Jolly happened to pluck the conductor's mustache. Remember Royal Bear Jelly's so-called holiday style from earlier? The hairs must have gotten stuck to the candy cane. It was super sticky after all. The conductor had absolutely no time to pick the hairs one by one. I doubt it was possible at all. Now hold on. If Old Jolly's candy cane was in the tea, this means... Royal Bear Jelly's mustache was also in it? I drank two cups of Bear Jelly Moustache! This is nonsense! The, the conductor goes to the kitchen hourly! To and through, to and through! My, my, my mustache could stick to anything! And how, how do you know this, this is old Jolly's cane? We run out of sugar. I, I used a, a, another ornament from the tree to sweeten it. Of course, my friend, anything is possible. But this is where the criminalists come in. A quick analysis will reveal to whom the candy cane really belongs. Yes, detective. I shall personally see that this candy cane is delivered to the lab as soon as we arrive at the station. Oh, oh no. I'm... I'm... The culprit is on the run! Let me help! No need. We have a specialist right here. hi -ya! Going somewhere? Hmm? <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt the sugar gnome. I, I panicked, and I thought I'd perfectly covered my tracks. That's where you are mistaken, Conductor. There was no perfection when it comes to crime. Only cold, hard truth waiting to be unveiled. And this is the reason why I write my novels. Sorry, I'm sorry, old Jolly. What have I done? I'm alive! <gasps> old Jolly? Oh no. Did I crumble too? Am I in heaven? Possibly. We sugar gnomes are hardy and resilient. <laughs> A blow with a candy cane. I can handle that. Nope, nope. But it did knock me out. And for longer than I would like to admit, this holiday fatigue seems to be getting to me. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh, I'm so happy you're alive and well, my friend. Uh, but please, do something about that strawberry jam. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Oh, I will turn myself in as soon as we reach our destination. <laughs> well done, Macaroni Cookie. Another case solved. Is it just me, or does crime follow wherever we go?
Welcome to the Cookie Kingdom. Mm hmm. Are you ready for Merry Holiday festivities? At last, it was a long journey. Linzer Cookie. Creme Brulee Cookie. I wanted to thank you for all that you've done. My good name is cleared thanks to you. I only did what I thought was right. I knew you would say that. Then how about Happy Holidays? I like it better. It's been a while since we met during the holidays, isn't it? Remember? You wouldn't find time for me because of your endless practice sessions back then, too? Oh. Wasn't it you who would talk ceaselessly about crime and jam after the success of your debut novel? Oh, come on, you liked it. Huh. Yes, I did. Say, will you come to see the concert tomorrow? I've been practicing quite a lot, you see. Very well. I think I might be able to find some time. It just so happens that I finished my manuscript last night. You wrote while all those things were happening. Of course, there's no better time. I used to only write about cookies before. But this time, other desserts will appear too. This little fact might or might not be crucial to the plot. Mm, sounds intriguing. I only hope the culprit is not the pianist. <laughs> you will find out soon enough. Yeah. Oh, look. It's snowing. Happy holidays, creme brulee cookie. Happy holidays, Linzer cookie. Thank <laughs> you. 